In an empty warehouse in the town of Mednin, these young men are waiting to be registered. Some are from Eritrea and Somalia. They can claim asylum in Tunisia if they want to. Many of them were working in Crimea, a suburb of Tripoli, when the fighting surrounded them. The first rocket landed. It didn't hit anyone. Then a second one came and 20 people were killed. When the third landed, we all scattered. We decided we had to leave. The Tunisian Coast Guard rescued their drifting dinghy after two days at sea. This is Tunisia's maritime border with Libya. Migrants and asylum seekers can't cross by land. Tunisia and Egypt say they can't let them in because of security and economic concerns. So they are forced to make this dangerous journey across these waters. It's the only way out. There are reports fighters are preparing to battle for Libya's border region. The fear is the conflict could spill over into Tunisia and send more migrants out to sea. We are prepared to secure our maritime borders against any dangers, including suspicious boats. We will confront any lawlessness on the seas. That lawlessness has led to this. The Red Crescent in Libya says it's found at least 300 bodies off the coast of Tripoli since July. And this is why so many people drown. Amor, a fisherman, shows me this ripped rubber dinghy. Smugglers are using substandard and overcrowded inflatable boats. On this occasion, Amor managed to pull it to Tunisian shores, saving the lives of more than 70 people on board. Our message is intervene as quickly as possible and stop these human smugglers sending these poor people into the sea. These migrants are worried about their friends in Libya. Some have been imprisoned by armed groups. Others are in hiding, waiting to take the next boat. The Mediterranean Sea remains a barrier to their dreams of a better life. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Southern Tunisia.